Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Burr Blanc. That's right, I don't even speak French. And even I know that means white butter. But do not let that sort of generic name fool you. This classic French butter sauce is complex, elegant, and sophisticated. Whatever that means. It's also incredibly versatile and very, very easy to make, as you're about to see. So let's go ahead and get started with our mise en place. I know, so much French. But all mise en place means is simply getting together all your ingredients before you start a recipe. And since this sauce comes together so quickly, that's definitely something we're going to want to do. So for this sauce, we're going to need some white wine. And if you're keeping score at home, I'll be using a Sauvignon Blanc for this. We're also going to need some white wine vinegar, or if you want, some lemon juice. It's going to work exactly the same, so it's just a matter of taste. We'll also want to do a little bit of finely minced shallot, as well as a little splash of heavy cream, which is technically optional here, but I do like to use it, and I'll explain why later. And then last but not least, we need a whole bunch of high-quality, unsalted butter. And besides making sure that's cold, what we want to do before we start the recipe is cut that into cubes. Because as you're about to see, we're going to add that little by little. And once that's set, we can head to the stove for this very simple two-part procedure. The first part being the reduction. So what we'll do is we'll add everything except the butter into this pan. All right, our shallots, our white wine, our vinegar, and our optional cream. Cream is not included in the original recipe, but it does help stabilize this sauce and increases your chances for success. Not to mention it tastes good, and I think the color comes out better. But anyway, we'll add all that to our pan and bring that up to a simmer on medium high heat, because what we need to do before the butter gets anywhere close to this is reduce this by about 75% or so. So what I like to do is bring it up to a simmer on medium high and then back the heat down to medium and basically just stand there and watch it until it's ready. And sure, if you want, you could give it a stir once in a while, but that does nothing. And one of the few ways to screw up this recipe is to walk away and let this reduction reduce too far and burn. If I had a dollar for every one of these I burned when I worked in the restaurants, I'd have like eight or nine dollars. So it was pretty common. But anyway, we're just gonna hang out, watching that reduce, until like I said, it gets down to about 25% of what we started with, which to my eye looks like what we have right about here. And at that point, we're gonna switch our heat all the way to the lowest setting, and we'll start whisking in our cold chunks of butter, but we want to start slow. So I'm just gonna add a couple pieces, and we'll whisk that in. Or if you want, you could just swirl the pan. It really does not matter as long as the butter keeps moving. That's the key. And then once those first couple cubes have melted in, or almost melted in, we can go ahead and toss in two or three more cubes. And then we'll simply repeat that process until all our butter's been emulsified. And by the way, you have my apologies if you're getting dizzy from all this close-up stirring. I probably should have panned out to a wider shot, but then I would have had to clean the other side of the stove, so never mind. But anyway, as soon as all that butter's been incorporated, our beurre blanc is basically done. And by the way, you keep hearing me say beurre blanc, but I believe in French it's correctly pronounced beurre blanc, which is exactly why I use the Americanized beurre blanc. I can't keep a straight face saying beurre blanc. But anyway, how you say it's up to you. You are the patron of your beurre blanc. And if you want, you can add the butter a little quicker towards the end. And once we've incorporated all that cold butter into our sauce, we can turn off the heat because our beurre blanc is done. And as you can see here, thanks to properly emulsifying that butter in, you should be looking at a sauce that has a beautiful, thick, luxurious texture. And then above and beyond admiring our viscosity, we're also going to want to taste this and add a little bit of seasoning. It's definitely going to need a pinch of salt. I think we'll also do a little pinch of cayenne. And by the way, do not judge this by how it tastes on a spoon or on your finger. This is one of those sauces that's only really awesome on food. So hold off on your final opinions. And assuming we're ready for service, we'll go ahead and transfer that into a warm sauce boat and possibly finish with some fresh herbs. In my case, a little bit of chive because that's what I had around. And by the way, if you're not gonna use this right away, it will hold, but you gotta keep it warm. Okay, if it cools down and you try to reheat it, it's gonna break. So if you make this a little bit ahead, make sure you keep it in a warm spot, somewhere ideally between 80 and 120 degrees. But personally, I will not be needing to keep this warm because I'm gonna go ahead and serve this over a gorgeous piece of roasted sea bass. And yes, I am probably pouring over a little too much, but I couldn't help myself. It just looks so good. And then I'll finish up with a little more chive and that, my friends, is one incredibly simple and just absolutely drop-dead gorgeous sauce. Which would not matter at all if this didn't also taste amazing. Just that perfect balance between the acidity and the wine and vinegar and that fatty richness of the butter. Just a fantastic sauce experience. And while I really think you're going to enjoy this specific version of Beurre Blanc, 
The different ways you could adapt this are as obvious as they are unlimited. Okay, different types of vinegars and citrus and herbs, etc. Just a lot of ways to really tweak this to your own tastes. But anyway, that's it. Beurre Blanc, or Beurre Blanc, if you prefer. No matter how you pronounce it, I really do hope you give this a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. <laughs>